All right. I've been watching The Hobbit. I can't stop thinking about the dwarves. So we're going to do a five minute pennant on it. Hey everybody, I'm Jibs from Loreforged, and today I wanted to talk about the Dunes and Kill Dwarves, and oh my goodness. If you're not a dwarf fan, this video is probably not for you. If you just want to hear people gush about dwarves, right here. <laughs> Dunes and Kill Dwarves from Ashes of Creation. Hi. They are absolutely your armor clinking, ale drinking, or mining dwarfy dwarves. They are the epitome of fantasy dwarves. We know that they live deep in the mountains. It's like... If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, or the Hobbit fan, or really a D&D fan, it just, the list goes on, right? If you are a fan of vintage dwarves, Gimli, Thorin, all, I mean, the list goes on. Balin, Dwalin, Philly, Killy, the list goes on. This is the race for you. I'll be honest, when I came into this game, I had no intention of playing a Dunes and Kill Dwarf. Now I do, 1000%, that is gonna be my race. And I can't wait to see, especially with all the cloaks and everything that you see on the back. I think that this is going to be one of the coolest renditions of dwarves that we've seen in a while when it comes to MMORPGs. From their architecture alone, it kind of has that whole Viking-esque, very traditional, very sharp lines. When it comes to the, the way that they build their homes and their industry, you know, they just, the none forgotten pre-order package out for August. One of the things that they were talking about was how when a uh, Dunes and Kill Dwarf dies, their body's still honored. It's still honored because they're at the ashes, uh, the heat uh, from the ashes of their furnace that they were essentially uh, cremated in are, are gonna be made into a weapon. So their spirit lives on in the form of their weapon. So you have ancestry. They're so loyal. They're they're very, uh, in a lot of ways, a proud race. And I see them somewhat more of as, as a stoic race as well. Very much and also standing their ground it's absolutely the fantasy dwarf experience no matter how you slice it and we actually did an episode on loreforge i think it was episode three talking about this very uh actually the dwarves period uh and uh it just blows my mind that you have uh, one for the first time in the 3d renders let's talk about that first the 3d renders out right now for the dwarves the dunier are just absolutely insane absolutely insane you, for the first time you see female dwarves with beards like you've never seen that at least that in any mmo i've played maybe way back in the day i don't know but in my time of playing mmos never seen it and so when you're seeing these 3d renders and their full armor like the heavy armor and you're seeing all the texturing going on and you start to see those jagged lines the cuts on the helm and the cuts on the armor just oh this is very vintage dwarf if you're like me and you're a fan of reading as well, one of the things that I think I'm going to have to read before, and maybe it, maybe you've read it, maybe you can tell us in the comments how if, if it's if it's like a good representation, a good preparer for Ashes of Creation is the Dwarves book, the book series. I forget who wrote it. I think it's actually... Here they are. Nope, it's not back there. I thought it was. I, I think I remember reading just a few pages of it, but I believe it's absolutely kind of this representation of the dwarves themselves. But Ashes of Creation has a lot of things for it, going for it. One of the things I love, I think more so than going for it, truthfully, this I guess just a personal thing, is that you see the tabletop RPG side of gaming brought into the MMORPG side of game. You're seeing a lot of influences from Dungeons and Dragons. We saw it with the Cleric, you saw it with the abilities there, and now we're even seeing it with the way that the dwarves are made up. And really, truthfully, it's not that hard to be very vintage fantasy dwarf. It's not. Throw them in the mountain, make sure they love ore and they love to make things. Make sure their armor is a little bit more squared off on the corners and the edging. Anything you'd see in the, the like the Hobbit movie, for, uh, for instance, the final Hobbit movie, and you've got dwarves, right? You've got dwarves. But these set of dwarves, it's just, hmm, it's so cool. One one of the things that I, I do genuinely wonder about this set of dwarves, it talks about their, at least on the wiki, uh, shout out to the Ashes of Creation wiki. On the Ashes of Creation wiki, one of the things you notice that they talk about is magic. I have this sneaky suspicion because you know, you notice kind of like how every race and class kind of uses the essence a little bit differently. Makes me wonder, does the Dunes and Kill dwarves harness the essence, the magic of Vera into the things that they create? Food for thought, maybe that's their advantage. I don't know. Either way, hey, if you're like me and you love Dunes and Kill, eat your heart out. America, world, Vera. You're not amusing. Jib signing off. Take care. See you soon.